Hello Sagittarians, I am Renu Wells and I'm here to do your Love Twin Flame Soulmate read for July. I know, I know, I got really busy, I've been getting really busy, so um, yeah, thank you for your patience. And I just wanted to say, I just finished the Taurus's reading and you guys came through very strong in Taurus, so if you are dealing with the Taurus, then I would highly suggest you go watch the Taurus reading, okay? Because it confused me in my energy because it came in so strong. There was like a merging of two energies, very strong. And I was like, what? And obviously I need to do Sagittarius upgrade to Taurus's reading. So yeah, so go take a look at that. All right, guys, this is Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for Saggies. And this is about Twin Flames Will Make Love for July. If you are new, welcome. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I am running a sweepstakes to win a free reading with me. There's two readings that I'm giving away and my tarot deck here that I created called the Cosmic Tarot. And everything free. You guys don't have to pay anything, but like, subscribe, and comment on the video link down below to enter. All right, guys, let's take a look. What is going on for my beautiful Saggies? What is going on for love? We're going to look at headspace, heart space, actions, and outcome. What is going on for Sagittarius? Thank you. We have what is destined for you. Woo! Victory and success. Six of wands in the heart space. My uh, actions is the eight of swords. Outcome seven of wands in reverse okay so what i'm seeing is something is very destined for you saggies okay that you want to win at you want success in this for sure but you still feel trapped there's still something that's keeping you stuck in a vibration that needs to be elevated out of and you're willing to break it down you're willing to let the defenses go but you're healing you're wishing upon a star and you're leaving it up to destiny and hoping that this is what you get okay we have the ten of swords in reverse clarifying the star and the page of cups in reverse could have been a breakup page of cups can sometimes be a breakup and um someone not taking ownership of the betrayal okay is what i'm seeing and um yeah there's something that's really destined that's meant to come in for you and you've been thinking about this a lot let's clarify the heart space with the six of wands you want to win so there's some competitive energy it could be competitive energy that's around you and you want to win at this you don't you want to be victorious and as you've gone through a lot sad you you want yeah what's faded to you here with the wheel that's come popping out okay so this is your destiny this is what you are meant to have and you know this and so you're putting your trust in that you want to untrap yourself of anything else you're trapped you feel trapped but spirit wants you to untrap yourself so there's still some entrapment and old energies that are playing out here that definitely fell out of my hand there we have the hermit in reverse so i feel like you were exiled out of something and you switch and, and it happened very quickly i feel like something may have like just boom come down and you're out of there and you didn't have a say in something and it was almost like it caged you somebody caged you in <sighs> could have been a karmic energy is what i'm feeling i'm feeling a darker energy it could have been you may you have to watch tauruses because i talked a lot about sex addiction and things like that in there bdsm and how to transmute those things could have been um that energy that was trying to trap you in and it came as quite a surprise is what i'm seeing or like boom it just happened and you're like what like what is this um it broke you it took your walls right down so that you had to look deeper at yourself yeah there may have been a uh commitment that ended a marriage that ended and you had to walk away yeah, for some of you, I felt like you did have a house with this person. You did live with this person. Um, I felt there was massive betrayal with this person, and it felt really destined with the Taurus energy. But something, because um, the Taurus kept coming in, in and out. You kept going in and out of the Taurus's and reading. And I'm feeling it very strong in this reading. Um, but yeah, if it's not that, that's okay. I mean, this is a very general read, but that came through very strong. And so you may have had... A commitment or something traditional with this person and it and it ended and it's kind of done now let's go a little deeper um you felt that this was destined you've been healing you've been um working on yourself asking and praying a lot is what i'm seeing spirit is saying that you've been kind of stuck in somebody taking responsibility for something that they've done to you and it's been hindering your growth as into the empress so you haven't been able to move 
I feel like you really felt this was a very destined connection and you haven't been able to move Taurus, okay? And Spirit is really saying, we're going to get some advice because I feel like, um, I understand that when you know that something is meant for you, it's hard to let it go and it's destined, but it's also keeping you stuck. So I feel there's an aspect of needing to let go as well. Let's, my hair is like sticking to me. In, <laughs> sorry, guys. Um, let's see this wheel because you really felt it was destined and that you want to win. So there's like a competitive energy that destiny will win. Fate will win. And yes, it's great to have faith in that. I agree in that completely, but there's also, um, a way in our psyche that we can't attach to that either, that we have to let go with the heart and the soul and to let go and move on as well. But knowing that that's what our destiny is without, shunning anything else away that comes into our environment that could be good for our growth or good for our evolution process is really what i'm getting the death so there was an ending here a transformation that got you off this path that you want to return to and that's what i was feeling is like yes the wheel came in and turned things around and caused a death and you want to still win at this but it's like this two of swords in reverse you're seeing very clearly A relationship ended here right you're seeing things more clearly about why it had to end and i think you've understand you're understanding that vibrationally of why it had to end and you still want to return but i think that wanting to run is keeping you stuck and blocked the wanting to return yeah it's keeping you emotionally stifled it could have been emotional manipulation but it's not helping your empress to rise your divine feminine to rise here Let's take a look at this Knight of Swords. It's like, I, it's almost like you are like exiled. You're swiftly trying to move through this with this entrapment. I think it happened very quickly. Like, it, and you feel trapped now. You just feel trapped. No matter what you action, you're trying to move on. I feel like you feel trapped. And I understand that. Yeah, relationship ended and you're single here. With the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Cups in reverse. So yeah, it's like, yeah, it's not allowing the tower to fall. Listen, y'all, I know this is hard. I know this is hard, Satch, when there's a breakup or there's something and you really know it's meant to be. Like, you know it, like, you know it, like, you know it. Like, I understand that. I had to do that with my twin flame, too. It's like, you have to, it, it, it's the hardest thing you will ever do, especially if you're on a twin flame journey. It is the hardest thing, the hardest thing you will ever have to do. It is, but you have to get grounded in yourself because if you don't, um, the cycle just continues as a horrible loop. And you've done that in other lifetimes. You know, if you need help with that, hit me up for a coaching session. Um, because this is how I help people move through it deeply. Not like my coaching is not like other people's coaching. Okay. Like I can psychically see your alignment and where what's actually blocking you subconsciously. So if you're subconsciously blocked and you're ready to break that open and you're not defensive about it because you have to not be defensive when you come work with me because I, I work with people and if they're defensive, I can feel it right away. I can feel the resistance in them. Um, you got to be completely open to be ready to go to the next level here, right? Um, we have the three of pentacles in reverse. A contract was broken. Listen, if this was meant to be for you and it's a twin flame, it will be meant, to be meant for you, but you've got to surrender the masculine energy here the conflict of someone not taking action and it wasn't what you expected here okay the five of swords with the yeah with the king of wands in reverse and the three of wands in reverse it's not what you have expected i feel this masculine may be also surrendering with the conflict but they're not actioning anything because it was an injustice something very injustice happened here we have the emperor here okay so we have counterparts look at the, this is the same thing happened with taurus okay Y'all, you need to go watch Taurus because seriously, Taurus had the Emperor in reverse and the Divine Feminine upright. And this reading for Sag is the Emperor upright and the Divine Feminine in reverse. So yeah, I want to know what's going on. <laughs> what's going on with you guys? Because somebody's ready to surrender here, conflict, and you have to surrender from your masculine side to bring in this change. I think this may have been an internal change, but you got to let things break down. This is for the Divine Feminine to rise up here. And yeah, because there's still conflict. You've got to get over this conflict of what's happened in the past. It's done, boo. It's done. What's done is done. It's done. Yeah, move on now. It's done, right? Yeah, it was already broken. You have to walk away. This situation 
completely broke you. It really did. And you thought this was your forever and you're sitting in the four of cups. Spirit is like, you can't sit in this four of cups anymore. You have to take this knight of cups and really move forward. Okay. You really do. We have the queen of swords. This could have been third party, but you got to get clear. This came up for Taurus too, or was it Scorpio? But you have to get very clear with yourself. You have to align your head and heart and you got to get very focused and really do what you're going to do. Um, to untrap yourself from this energy heal whatever you need to do because it's a a pattern that's that's running for you yeah it's the nine of cups your wishes weren't fulfilled here remember that was just the nine of cups sometimes spirit spirit has to break your human um comfort zones right to get you into the ten of cups you can't just fall into the ten of cups this is to get you grounded right financially abundantly Hmm. Very interesting, Saj. Again, we've got the Queen of Cups in reverse with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Where are you investing your time? Where are you putting your energy, Saj, this month so that you can manifest? Because you're a powerful manifester is what I'm getting for a reunion to be revealed to you. Spirit's waiting to reveal this reunion. Somebody is watching. Okay. Somebody is ready. Okay. It could be you. could be the Taurus energy. could be whatever. But somebody is ready for something new. But you can't invest in old energies. That's really what I'm getting. And Spirit's trying to bring through, like, what are you grounding in your reality right now, Saj? What is it that you're grounding right now? Because what are you investing in your time? Is it the sadness still? Are you still healing? Are you stuck in a healing loop? People get stuck in a healing loop too. You know, you have to make the decision and be like, you know what? I've learned this lesson. I don't need to heal anymore. Like, I'm pretty much done. <laughs> um, I know what I want. And Spirit's like, what do you want? It's like what I'm hearing in the notebook. Like, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? It's not that easy. What do you want? It's not that easy. Yes, it is. What do you want? Pretty much that conversation is what I'm hearing. We have counterparts. King of King of Pentacles in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Sorry, my allergies are acting up all of a sudden. And we have the King of Swords. So look, and we have another, and we have the Queen of Swords here. Okay. Could be. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. My nose all of a sudden just started acting up. My signs just, just started acting up. I don't know why. It's a psychic thing. Listen, there's two situations going on here, okay? There could be two couples. Um, you may have a choice between two people, but I'm not really feeling that. I'm feeling that there may have been a karmic energy that came in and pulled your person away from a grounded, real counterpart energy. And they are, you know, a very uh, mental energy that pulled you out of this grounded, harmonious, beautiful, um, tangible connection. That's for some of you. And for others, this is what you guys are. You guys are a massive power couple, grounding, uh, high intelligence, very mental, but yet very grounded and very beautiful. And that's why it was so painful. The nine of swords here. That's why this connection was so painful. And it brought you mass, that pain, that amount of pain, that nine of swords brought you massive illumination. To stop juggling things in your life from the past. Of wanting to return to the, a past that's very, you know, deceptive and not true for yourself. We have the queen of wands in reverse. That came up for Taurus as well. Sexual energy, right? Repressing the truth. Uh, dark and sex addictions, things like that. Of where it's been delaying this connection. Wanting to return to the past where, you know, it was a missed opportunity. Listen, if there was something toxic that happened before in the past, you can't be in that energy anymore is what I'm feeling. This, you got to move out of this entrapped energy to move into, you know, your true self before this kind of union can come together. The Empress and the Emperor, right? For this to come together, you have to be very, very uh, healed. And Spirit's trying to push you now into a new state of healing. Okay? Sorry if you hear people downstairs. My parents just got home and I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, this was very imbalanced. So you've got to come into a place of being very balanced. All right. I need a sip of water. And um, we're going to pull some oracles. We're going to take a look at these oracles here. Yeah, let's take a look at the divine counterparts and separation what is going on for Sagittarius please Sun Moon Rising Venus and North Node what is going on for Sag what is going on for Sagittarius please what is going on for Sag 
What do you have to say here for Satch, please? Seriously? You guys saw me shuffle. These are the same cards that came up for Taurus. I want to talk to you, but I'm afraid. I can't. These came up with the readings today, too, guys. I can't make up these synchronicities. I shuffle my decks, all right? Inner journey, okay? Inner journey. Going on an inner journey. Deadly sins, and I'm working on my inner issues. There's a mirroring that's happening with you and your person. You're both working through some very, you know, look at the synchronicities. <laughs> As I'm saying that, okay? There are massive synchronicities that are happening with you and your person, Sag, okay? So there's definitely some massive energies that are coming through here that's very divinely guided. And I can't make this up. This came up for Taurus as well, okay? So spying. Somebody's coming into union, guys. When the sinks happen like this, like somebody is spying on you. There is a secret admirer. I felt that strong with Taurus. Go, you need to go watch Taurus reading. All right, um... Yeah, marriage. I thought there were... Somebody got into a commitment. I thought there were plenty more fish in the sea. And so I did the Hierophant with them. There was something devastating. But I think that's ending. Or it's about to end. And something's going to happen. We got Twin Flame stuff, guys. All right. This came up this morning as well. Uh, two bodies, one soul. Look at that. All right. Especially if you're a Lord of the Rings fan here. Spiritual awakening. Someone's awakened to this connection. The, uh, guys, I can't make that up. This powerful energy is close on the bottom of the deck. I can't even. Uh, the right time, the right time isn't right for me to reach out. That came out too today. <laughs> what? Trust, trust. The third party knows about you. <laughs> Hold that strength, okay? I'm not sure how you feel about me. These came out, okay, guys. I can't even. I can't even. Let's get some romance angels, guys. <laughs> really potent energy sag don't forget to like and comment and subscribe let me know what how this is for you uh this is the magic that happens on this channel all the time guys you never know what you're going to get okay so let's take a look what is going on for my sagittarians sagittarians see i almost did it again it's like am i doing taurus there's something going on with that energy guys and i don't know if there's something in the astral i'm not into astrology as much like it's fine like but i'm not it it's okay for me. It's not something that I live by because I I'm so tapped in, so I don't need astrology. But it's like, I not that I don't need it, but I I'm interested. Sometimes I'm like, oh, why do I feel like this? And sometimes like, oh yeah, it explains it. But I, everyone's pulled to something different. So if you are into astrology, I would take a look and see if there's anything going on with Sag and Taurus. I don't know. I, I'm not the one to ask for that. I'm not I'm not an astrologer. But yeah, let's take a look here. What is going on here? For Sagis, please, in their love life. What is this energy spirit? Keep an open mind. This person is different than you. Make the effort. So this person, there's some effort that's coming forward. And your person may not be somebody that you usually are accustomed to. That's what twin flames are. It's never somebody that you think that you would be in love with. Someone is getting their friends to help them. You may be getting support or they may be getting support, okay? Deception. Someone was not nice. Somebody was deceptive in this connection. They want to express love. I feel like someone wants to come forward here. Wedding. Someone was maybe in a wedding. We had the, the hierophant that came through and they were deceptive. Maybe they were married and you found out very soon. Someone's coming forward very soon. Very soon. They're about to make a decision, okay? They're releasing an ex. Look at this. Give, to give this a chance. Get some timing let's get some timing yeah guys really real i don't even know what to even say about this energy it's very potent beautiful twin flame stuff that i'm getting um a different part of the collective of the twin flame collective that i have never felt before so it's very interesting um that this is coming through so yeah i, I love it i love it i love that you guys are watching this <laughs> it's great to expand your horizons especially i love seeing different energies that come through so let's see what's going on for for Sag, please. This came up for Taurus too. Something better. Whatever happened in the situation, it made you look like I had to move on to something better. Had to ask for help from others. You made to have to ask for help from spirit and pray. Forgiveness and you're ready. Look at this. Once you forgive and, and you untrap yourself, you're ready for this type of connection. This came out for Taurus as well. Like guys, I'm just randomly putting my hand in there and pulling it. Like you see it, right? Like look. You know, take action. Somebody wants to take action once they recover. yeah something is happening here helpful people there's a lot of guides a lot of angels a lot of people in this situation that are helping 
listen to your intuition here, Saj. Get more information. Okay, maybe just in from the spiritual realm about how you're feeling. In the near future, you're going to have some success. All right? Wow, I didn't pull this for Taurus, I don't feel, but I'm going to do it for you guys because I'm feeling whatever I get pulled to. I don't know. I don't do the same cards for everybody. I just do whatever I'm told. So if you're going to get sourpuss about it, I'm sorry. I don't follow anything logical because I'm so in my intuition. Okay, I don't have structured readings. This is the wild magic hand show. So yeah, my the wild magic show. Engagement. Look at this. This came up for Taurus too, but in a different deck. In the romance angels that it's coming to a higher level of um evolution here we have unconditional love girl with the snake someone may have got persuaded by uh an evil entity <laughs> karmic person <laughs> evil entity probably was an evil entity and it taught them how to love unconditionally okay paradise this is about you coming into paradise this is about time to heal okay the snake is chasing, was chasing this situation and someone's ready to take a leap of faith and have healing here. Okay. All right, Saj, that is your monthly reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you want to when a reading and all this resonates with you. Don't forget to join the sweepstakes. The info is down below by clicking and liking and subscribing and commenting on that video. And if you want to work with me, I am doing readings again. Uh, hit me up. You can email me or you can book directly from the links down below. Okay. So much love you guys. Bye.